Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 8 of Delicious Party Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. And now, for now, we have a complete group. Mm -hmm. No, no, run. No. <laughs> hmm? Are you going to stop posting? That's the only thing I can really think about what she's probably going to do. Because, I mean, it would make the most sense, but it's up to her. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, you want to go on a date? Uh. Are you okay?
Poor baby. Blush, it's so cute. Hmm? <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yes, we do. Yeah, hasn't posted anything. It looks so good. Do you see how nice it slices? Mmm. I know. That looks so good. <laughs> no. There's chestnuts. She's so fucking adorable, like, uh. Oh my god, it is big.
doesn't be kind. She doesn't want Gentle to find out. Because she's only doing it to protect the rest VPs. I get it, but still, you like posting on there. Oh, baby. Like, I feel like because she likes posting on there so much, she's probably going to be, like, our first, like, person or character who is going to have a job in social media. Mm-hmm. And plus, you're already popular on there. Oh, come on. baby. Uh oh. And how did you get here so quickly? See, that makes me now kind of want to have some mochi ice cream, but, like, ugh, the place where I, w I normally want to go get it, it's closed. <laughs> yeah. Always post it sometime after, at least a couple of hours after. Of course, we take the American food. <laughs> the staple food of burgers and fries. Kid in the blue hoodie. <laughs> I'm sorry.
Chris. Yeah, it, it makes sense for him to be here now, right? Damn it, I thought they were going to do them all three together. You just played with my heart. Probably the reason of why they have these two together is because they want to give Ron another special moment because this is an episode focusing on her. I get that, but like, oh, I was ready to see three different shots. Calorie punch? walk into the crack and then it's stuck there. And now it's stuck. It can't move.
<sighs> All right, Yui, let's get you something to eat. Look at that tomato, though. Oh. And then get you some spicy ketchup. Um, and some mayo. See, I'm just making myself hungry. Yo. No, she's full on. Mm. She's fine now. Yay! <laughs> She's so fucking precious. I love her so much. Poor gentle. Uh oh. Finally, there we go. How long did it take? Like, seriously, big non-shocker. We all knew it because, come on now, how I knew it because the same voice. The same voice. Come on. Okay. So, now it makes you wonder still, what is her story? Why is she being evil and such? So, hopefully, we get something on that. It's, you know what's weird? And I feel like they're doing the same thing. You know how, like, when Laura was... Laura and freaking Kira Com Cosmo were push into the final cure phase very early on i feel like we're doing that now with her so she might be like really early and i don't know how to feel about that it'll be really weird if they say like oh by episode 10 they make her like the final cure already it, it would be interesting but then it'd be really really weird because then it's like the only reason that they're probably doing that is because pandemic and everything, and I get that, but still, I'm like, no, we can't wait till October. It's okay. We don't need the all-star movie having all four girls and such. But, oh, baby girl Ron, like, oh, thank God she's going to stay for her social media influencer-ish, because I really want to see if she ends up making it into a career, because she loves doing it a lot. So if it does happen, she will be one of the first characters in Pretty Cure History to do something with social media and stuff. And I think that's going to really be really nice because that is the new normal. Like, if you work your ass off on the internet and such, you can become a social media influencer and such. And it's happened to all of us, no matter how big or how small you get, you become one. octopus okay so i did see the next like uh mini villain who is now eventually taking gentle's place because of course because of what happened in such um in this episode now she's kind of going to be placed into the back of like a minor character role and then eventually when it is her time to finally become a pretty cure that's when she's going to be more into the story but she could still be a major character still being focused on it, but not as much up until she becomes the final cure in the show. Because, like I said, once again, it is obvious and such. And I, you know, a lot of us fucking predicted this, like, the day her freaking picture came out on the internet. And they were like, oh, we're, it's either going to be one of two things. She's going to stay bad guy for the whole series or she's going to be a bad guy for a certain amount of time. And then she's going to be a pretty cure. So... It's very freaking obvious. I mean, it, it, it's a trope that Pretty Cure is, once again, they're known for a lot. And so I think they just really love going at it. And I, and I like it too, depending on how it's like written for a certain character and such. But when it's her time and when we know it's coming, it just I just want to know what her food is going to be. Because, you know, we have 
um a rice ball um or onigiri we have a sandwich we have um the wonton slash the uh, the steamed bun and the noodles for yum yum what the heck is her thing gonna be because some people some people thought it was gonna be a burger but technically that's still a sandwich so no but then her shape like what's that also gonna be because we have triangle we have a circle we have technically like a um a skinny rectangle so hers could be like a star or a um octagon or um i was about to say triangle again but we can't do that um something that makes her unique and that makes her fit into the group how they probably already got this figured out it's just for us to try to figure out what the heck it's gonna be but i am really excited to see the new villain next week because of course it's a guy and i think it's going to be yui's like quote-unquote love interest being it for a couple of weeks or like a little while until he becomes the quote-unquote tuxedo mask character for um for this series because we know that's coming we just don't know exactly like when because they keep showing it and showing it and showing it and then i'm over here like when is it happening like please let me know but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode eight yes eight of <laughs> delicious party pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially next saturday or sunday for episode nine bye guys